All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chakbadash, the by honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwak, which is the women believers, Shalom unto you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And when you listen to this video, which the prophet's been saying for a long time, about these camps but as you see on the screen it say out of the mouth of two or three witnesses they not like us this is such a beautiful you know little segment of a video because like i always say we have a great opportunity and a great chance to really be the men and women that believe of the lord you know so listen to this and I'm going to get a few scriptures because see what people don't get selling out. It's going to end bad for you. To the other brother, the brother that he um actually went to um Dunkin' Donuts with, he gonna come. And he actually going to back up the brother's claim. So let me get this real quick. So it says, there is that make of himself rich, yet have nothing. There is that make of himself poor, yet have great riches. See, what people don't get is that the Lord ain't never brought us over here in captivity for us to get rich. We're literally on punishment. And the Lord talks about, you know, spiritual riches which the spiritual riches is, is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is going to manifest into physical riches. See, right now, our people, they are sell their soul. You know, when you go to John 10 and 12, it said that the hireling care not for the sheep. You know, so these bag takers, as the elder um, Malcolm out of Great Millstone, Chicago. So I forgot to say um, who this is. So. What the hell happened? So, yeah, so 
the man with the glasses in the green, that's Elder Malcolm from the Great Millstone, Chicago. But yeah, so, you know, you got these people out here who thinking that having cars, having clothes, having holes, <laughs> having uh, materialistic things that they doing something. But if you knew prophecy, everything in this world that you have, you're going to lose. All right. So I just want to ram off a few scriptures and then continue the rest of the video. See, the Lord said, hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the most high chosen the poor of this world, the poor of this world, not destitute, not you on the street. You know what I'm saying? Begging for money. But no, you know, a regular man, a woman who live paycheck to paycheck, the Lord always say he's going to provide for his, you know, so we have everything that we need. Might not be able to get everything that we want all the time. And sometimes you are able, you know, the Lord, you know, bless us here and there. But the point is, is that overall, you're not going to be a man who could just, you know, basically just money just coming. What they say in the world out the wazoo, you know, it ain't going to be no a whole bunch of income coming in because that will corrupt you. So many scriptures. I don't want to make this video too long. I want to, I want this video to be highlighted of the video. All right. But because I can get about 50 scriptures on this. But what's the point? The point is, is that these camps out here don't got it, man. They don't got it. That's why, like, even you go on Google right now, IUIC. I think um, the apostles checked it last year. Why is a Hebrew Israelite camp worth 150 million? That don't even make sense. You're supposed to just be out there preaching the word you know but yeah and then one more oh, i ain't even finished this hearken my beloved brother have not the poor have not the most high chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith heirs of the kingdom which have promised to them that love him so we are the heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him so while we so-called poor you know and also when you go into the word poor you know it's a person who just don't have you know, influence, power, you know, we're just regular men who the Lord blessed us with the Holy Spirit. And, you know, we get out there and teach the word. So the, this brother don't even know that the other brother already told the story. This is why the video is called Out of the Mouth of Two Witness. On our way to camp, we stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. Some dude was in there. I walked in after the brother. You talking about some, you look like a celebrity. And like, I know you, do you do stand-up comedy? And I disagreed. I was like, yeah, I do stand-up comedy. Comedian he was like, oh, okay, let me throw the shoes. He got from that to, I just told him the truth. I said, man, to be honest, me and him teach the Bible, bro. We ain't into none of that. He said, for real, what the fuck? What? He like, who y'all with? He didn't say camp. This is it. Yep. No, no, no. I want you to keep telling me the story. Yes, sir. Let's see. Out of the mouth of two minutes. Uh, right. They didn't coordinate this. Uh, it just happened. Go ahead. That's right. So. I want to get this, then let him finish his story. Because this is what these Israelites don't understand. And then not, not even just these camps. I'm talking about like this regular Jake period. People really thinking that because they got money and that they have a little something, something in this world that they're going to be okay. But see, when you know prophecy. And let me put it like this. I can't even say if you know prophecy, if the Lord have blessed you with the faith. Because you can hear about it. 
Somebody could tell you about prophecy over and over and over. I mean, this is why you have scoffers on the comment board. They heard about the prophecies over and over and over, but they still talking shit, right? So if you, if the Lord have given you the heart to understand and the faith to believe it, then you really should not be caring about riches. It's nothing wrong with money itself. The scripture said the love of money is the root of all evil. But see, the problem is, is that money in this world brings demons upon people because you have a lot of assets, a lot of access to wickedness. The Lord willing, I'm saying it right. Excess assets. I think it's assets. But yes. Yeah, so um, there is a sinner that have good success and evil things. And there is a gain that turn up to loss because that's the conclusion of the matter. You're going to have it right now but you're going to lose it in the very very near future and you have a lot of evil people that are successful in their in their wickedness false prophets is successful in their wickedness because esau edom will put them to the side and, and say hey i need you to um corrupt israel and you know let, get show them a hellcat maybe a harlot in in a house and you know jake is head over here okay okay cool I wasn't shit when I was in the world. So I guess I'm going to take, I can do this. This is nothing. And that, and that's what these people do. There is a gift that shall not profit you. And the scripture said, never trust thy enemy. All right. And there is a gift who recompenses double. Don't, don't you understand the judgment that's going to happen unto you? The judgment that's going to happen unto you for you perverting the truth. Remember, Luke 12, 47 talks about the ones who knew the Lord's will and didn't um, keep it shall be beaten with many stripes. So now your judgment is going to be double. And it says there is an abasement. That's us. You know, we just, you know, we cool with our daily bread. The Lord give us what we need because of glory, because of glory. There is an abasement because of glory. And there is that lift of up his head from a low estate. That's what the Lord is going to do to his men. Now let's. Yep. No, no, no. I want you to continue telling that story. Yes, sir. Let's see. Not about the two guys. Uh, all right. They didn't, they didn't coordinate this. Uh, it just happened. Go ahead. That's right. So, I was going to shot. I told him. The brother was like, yeah, we in Great Millstone. He was like, for real? He started listening. The brother said something. He started listening to something. He was like, hey, man, I'm going to tell y'all this. I love y'all. He said, hey, man, I just got out of jail. Hey, all you, all you brothers out there that are watching, you need to sound like this. Uh, and, and you know, I'm excited by both things. Uh, and you need, and you need, you need to, to play this in your videos. Right. And for everybody in, 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 in this camp, as a matter of fact, the whole Midwest has the water. Uh, Everybody's going to sound like and I listen to my elders. It's the reason why I'm doing the video. Um, I'm from the Midwest. I just don't live out there no more. But I was going to use this clip anyway, you know. But yeah, man, this is a beautiful clip because what the Lord is doing, something something as small like this, just a random man that they meet at Dunkin' Donuts. That man is a friend with a person from a particular camp, which he's going to say in this video. And he's talking about how this dude, he don't work, but he got a whole bunch of cars. And he just, and he, and the dude that was telling the story, like, he just marveled at it. Like, how this nigga got all these cars? So obviously the friend didn't put it together, you know, put two and two together, but the men of the Lord did. But yeah, so, you know, this is just beautiful because the Lord said that everything that is secret should be made manifest. Everything that is here should come out abroad. That's in Luke 8 and 17. And that's what I believe is going to happen as we get closer to the end. This testimony, go ahead, bro. Hey, so the brother started kind of like talking over him a little bit. And I told the brother, like, hold on. Because he didn't know that I had turned record on in my pocket when I heard what the dude was saying. The man, so I do have his report. He said, well, he do. But this is how you know that it's not a lie. Now, the brother, like I said, the video is only, what, five minutes long. So I'm pretty sure that um, the clip of the recording was played after camp or something. But yeah, so this man is not lying. He got it on, you know, he got it on his phone. So that's more evidence. So for all you people who want to watch all these different camps to be entertainment, that's why I made the um, this video 
you know, straddle the fence Israelites. You think this is entertainment. You think it's a game. You need to know the word for yourself. And not trying to look at a man because he can speak great or he uh, articulate himself real good, use big words. And he, he got the worldly look. He got the fresh beard line up. You know, he wear fitted hats. He got a, a garment that's 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 creased, you know, like he earned his garment. You know, they all color coordinated and stuff. The, the truth ain't about that. It's about the word and the truth, man. And Yahweh Shai, who is the word. All right. Prophecies. The spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Revelation 19 and 10. Hey man, look. I got friends that's a cigar, which is one dude in Sakaar over there passing out flyers, making himself look like a fool. For uh, chasing nigga women for flyers. Long and short and shorter. He said, man, I got friends that's a cigar, man. He said, I'm going to tell you all this. My friend ain't working. He ain't did nothing in years. I don't know where the hell he got out of the house from. Where he get all this money from. But I'm going to tell you all this. Y'all can't be fucked. So the, so the man that they was talking to in Dunkin' Donuts told those two brothers, see, you see y'all right here. Y'all can't be bought. And that's your damn Skippy. All right. All praises to Yahweh Vashem Shai. So let me get another one. Because this is what this is what people don't get. All you bad uh, takers. See, see how the scriptures start off. But woe, woe means destruction. But woe unto you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are few. Fool, which means you're satisfied right now. You good. You don't want for nothing. You got everything that your heart desire. Woe unto you, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. So what is the opposite of this? Those, because the scripture says in John 16 and 20, well, the scripture that I always quote, you know, the world shall rejoice, but you talk about the men of the Lord. She'll mourn and weep. So the Lord is going to turn our mourning into joy. The Lord is going to turn us being poor into great riches. So everything on this side, you will lose. All right. You will lose. Class of scripture right here. Riches profit not in a day of wrath, which lets you know that there is a day of wrath. There is a day of wrath, man. But if you don't want to believe it, don't believe me. Just watch. Let's continue to keep living. You know, the days is approaching, but righteousness deliver from death, which that's why we always say we hope to be, you know, part of the elect. We can't just say, oh, we are the men of the Lord. We're going to make it. If we continue to do what we're doing right now, then we will be the men of the Lord because we out here teaching the truth. Standing, you know, as scripture says in Romans 12 and 1, making our body a living sacrifice, which is your reasonable service. Like, that's the least you can do because we can't build nothing for the Lord. We can't do nothing really for the Lord. The scripture said that the earth in the fullness thereof is his. Everything is his. He created. He the creator of all things. We need him. That's Joel 3 that he's um, quoting, but you can use it for this situation. But basically, Joel 3 is going into these nations that put us in captivity, basically sold us to Esau, Edom. And the Lord is saying, oh, so since you did that, you think you ain't going to get repent, uh, be recompensed swiftly? So to finish off with these um, couple of scriptures, because when you go into this scripture right here, right, this is a twofold scripture, but I want to just stick to the first fold because that's relevant to the video. So I know your works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. See, so you got people out here who look at us as bums. They, they make all these jokes and stuff. Don't even know what we have, but they look at us as bums. 
because when, when it comes to the other camps, look at a great millstone camp and look at the other camps. Most camps have, you know, uniforms. That's what I call it. They got on shirt. They got shirt with fringes on it. And then they have a, they have their little logo on it. You know what I'm saying? So they all color coordinated and looking all organized, stuff like that. But you go watch a great millstone camp, you might have a wrinkled garment. You might have a person with a green garment, a purple garment, a black garment, a red garment, you know? So not color coordinated because we just out there preaching the word. So, but the Lord said, I know your works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know them, the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Because... When you read Jews in the New Testament, those are the ones who knew they grew up in the customs. All right. They 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 knew who they were. They weren't in Gentiles. They wasn't Hellenized, you know, as, as the Greeks. They grew up in the customs. So this is why he's saying that they are not Jews. These are not real men of the Lord. This is not the Israel of the Most High. All right. Yeah. Naturally, you know, fleshly. You know, um, nationality wise, you are Jews, but the Lord is referencing that they're not the real men of the Lord. All right. That's the first fold of it. And like I said, this is a twofold scripture because we use the scripture to the um, to show how Esau eat them. They're they're not the people. But um, so and then the Lord said that, right. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and not and are not, but do lie. But I will. Make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. So what did this mean? Because they're not going to make it into the kingdom of the first go around. They're actually going to be the children of the men of the Lord. And then as they get older, they're going to have the stank face. They're going to have, you know, the humiliated. They're going to hate themselves. So I'm going to end it on this just to back up the point. Now, when you read this chapter, you can start from 22. Oops. Yeah, I, I, that was a spirit. See, all right. So if you start from 22, right? This going into the kingdom of heaven, how the Lord is going to deliver us from the heathen and bring it into our own land. But right here, it said, then, all right, then shall you remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good. And you shall love yourself in your own sight and for your iniquities and for your abomination. So that's what's going to happen to these bad uh, chasers, bad takers, you false prophets and, and, and regular men, uh, regular men and women of Israel who don't want to believe in the truth. All right. So this is what's going to happen to you. Lord willing, I ain't a part of that. But yeah, so hopefully this video is edifying. And you know, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and Shalom.